Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, Tim Man here. Now I'm here today to talk about the unmade Poltergeist 4. Did you know there was going to be a Poltergeist 4? I had no idea. So I recently rewatched 1 and 2 and 3 and it's like, you know what? I really want to wish these movies would continue. You get the Friday 13th, they've got num numerous of them. Same with Freddy, same with Halloween. Why did Poltergeist stop? Now, obviously... I think it stopped at three, mainly because we lost Heather O'Rourke at such a young age, which is tragic. It really is. Um, also, because she died while making the film, so she, she didn't actually finish it. So there's some scenes where it's not her. That's tragic. There's the talk of the Poltergeist curse. Mm, you believe what you want. I think people just die, and that's just the way it is. You know, if you believe the curse, cool. Me and Liam, nah, we're not sold on the curse. So. I was like, why has there not been a sequel? So I did some digging, and there was. There was going... Sorry, there was. There was going to be a sequel. So in 2005, there was going to be Poltergeist 4, or known as Poltergeist Kairi. Now, I didn't know what that meant. So I googled it, and all I can all I, all I could come up with was a otter-looking creature with a mushroom-style head that dwells below the, the, the surface of the, of the earth by trees. What the fuck? So anyway, in 2005, that was that was apparently on the cards. There was a, I don't know if there was a script written, but there was definitely talk about it. And in, in this idea, there was going to have Carol Ann be played by someone else. I know, I know, I know. Sacrilege. I know, they shouldn't really go there, but they, they were going to. Craig T. Nelson was going to be the protagonist, the main lead in this. And Carol Ann character, grown up, was going to come into it every now and then. And even Joe Beth Williams, the mum, was going to come in as well as a cameo. A strange, very strange. And the, the premise was that Stephen now, Craig T. Nelson, lives alone in a trailer in like a, was it, was it a Mexico sort of desert or something like that. And he battles Kane. Very strange idea. Anyway, but that was all axed in 2006 because Sony bought MGM and they just went, nope. And they opted for the remake. Now, I can't comment on the remake because I've not seen it and I'm not planning to, to be honest, because I haven't heard great things. And do I need to see a remake when you've got the original? Not really. So, yeah, imagine Poltergeist 4. That I mean, personally, if you're asking me, do a Poltergeist 4, different family, different setting, new set of ghosts in a different area completely. Forget the Caroline story. It's 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 ended with especially with the death of Heather O'Rourke. I think that story needs to be put to bed now and you start with a new family, a new area, and you've got new ghosts. Why not? You've got countless Freddies. You've got countless other ones. I mean, Amityville did it. I know that some of them are awful. I mean, it was in a clock. You know what I mean? In a mirror. What's going on there? But you know what I mean? It was, it was continuing. Rather than remake it like they did and what they're doing now with remakes of everything, Salem's Lot, I haven't seen it. The trailer looked absolutely like dog shit. I won't watch it. My mate watched it. He said it was awful. Other people are saying it's shit. I, the trailer alone just made me go, nah, I'm not interested. I'm not interested. I'll stick with what the original. Thank you very much. Forget the remakes. Give us sequels. I'd love a sequel to Poltergeist. Poltergeist 4. Imagine that. Then 5. Then 6. Oh, keep them going all the way to 10. I'd watch them. I'd love it. Something new. Give it to me. So yeah, I just want to share that with you. Poltergeist 4. Kairi. What the hell was that? Anyway, it didn't matter because it didn't get made. But I want to share that with you because that I thought that was a really cool story. Polar Guys 4. Crazy. Anyway, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoy it. And until next time, people, stay safe, stay tuned, stay sick. Tim Man, out.